This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone glorify the use of drugs. Yo, what is good? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, I'll be covering the substance called nutmeg. This is a spice that is commonly found in many households that can trigger a hallucinogenic high when consumed in large amounts. I'll explain everything, including the dangers and effects, plus my own personal experience too. Let's get into it. Nutmeg is the seed or ground spice of several species in the Meristica genus. The chemical responsible for the high caused by nutmeg is known as meristicin. Meristicin is a compound found naturally in trace amounts of the essential oils in different herbs such as parsley, dill, and of course, nutmeg. Additionally, meristicin is a delirant substance of the phenylpropylene class and it's a traditional precursor of the empathetic drug MDMA. Plus, it is found to be a serotonin receptor antagonist while simultaneously acting as a weak MAO inhibitor. Nutmeg is reported to induce hallucinogenic effects such as visual distortions and paranoid ideation. Once ingested, it takes about 2-4 to four hours to fully kick in and will last around 10-12 to 12 hours. And sometimes, the after effects can linger for another day or two. In comparison to Datura or DPH, Versicin's effects tend to be milder and can be more pleasant and euphoric depending on the dose. It actually has quite unique effects when compared to other delirants or hallucinogens. The first claims of nutmeg intoxication date back to the 1500s when a pregnant woman ate more than 10 nutmeg nuts. But it wasn't until the 19th century when research began to investigate the effects of meristicin from nutmeg on the central nervous system. Regarding the dosage, 400 milligrams has been shown to produce mild cerebral stimulation in 4 out of 10 human subjects. 400 milligrams of meristicin would be contained in approximately 15 grams of nutmeg powder. However, even at just 5 grams of powder, symptoms of nutmeg intoxication can begin to emerge. I'm like, I feel loopy. When cooking up food, recipes typically only call for 1 to 2 grams. When I first experimented with nutmeg, I took about 20 grams. This was back in high school and it was during a night when my friend and I were super bored and we had ran out of weed and everything else. As being two desperate teenagers, we searched all the cabinets in the house looking for something to alter our perception of reality and escape our sober mind. I don't want to be sober. And sure enough, we found some nutmeg powder in a bottle. But instead of just eating a bunch of powder, we decided it would be better to put it in pill capsules. The only problem was that we had no empty pill capsules. Instead, we found some random vitamin bottle in the cabinet and we started taking the pills from that and emptying those capsules out so we could fill it with nutmeg. I call the process Science! We ended up filling like 40 pill capsules with nutmeg and ate all of them. After eating them, we ventured outside and started walking through a golf course that was located in our neighborhood waiting for the nutmeg to kick in. It was at night so no one else was on the golf course because the course was closed. That being said, the nutmeg started hitting and I was getting paranoid that there were other people <laughs> on the course. Fast forward a little later, the nutmeg started kicking in even more and it started to make my farsighted visuals all blurry and fuzzy. As I glanced in the distance, it looked like there was golf carts driving across the course towards my direction. I was definitely tripping out because like I said, it was at night and the golf course was closed. With the paranoid thoughts of other people roaming the golf course, my friend and I decided it would be a good idea to go back inside and we essentially just watched TV for the rest of the trip. My main takeaways from the experience is that it made me more paranoid and it distorted my farsighted visuals in the slightest bit. The nutmeg definitely did something, but it wasn't like a full-blown trip you'd expect from a typical psychedelic. Overall, the trip was pretty mediocre. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're super desperate not to be sober. I wanna get high! <laughs> if you're looking for a different legal eye that may suit your needs better, watch this video next to learn everything there's to know about tripping on Benadryl. DPH can produce much more powerful delirium effects and hallucinations at high doses. My name is Fish and I stay low-key. Peace out.